right, so hello everyone. You guys are all hyped up on playing Go since we're doing this out of order today. Usually we, usually we lecture first and then you get to play Go and you're all excited to play Go, but now that you've played Go and it's time for the lecture, you guys are all like, meh. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, so, oh, we we could go to the bar and do this. Actually, I I know I know I saw that email you sent me. Jack was all like, clearly there's going to be beer served here, right? There's an actual reason why I wanted to show you guys this game. So this is a game my friend Kevin. He just came to like Linwood just for a job interview, like completely randomly, and uh, just for like one day. And he's from Texas, and he had no idea I lived in Linwood. So, I I just I he just Facebooked something like about Seattle, and I was like, hey, I live here, and he's like, where? And I'm like, Linwood. He's like, dude, that's where I am. So we met at the bar, and we brought a go board, and that's what we did. Uh, but his teacher is Jenny Shen, the Tudon professional, Jenny Shen, and Jenny is a very very popular teacher. I have actually a lot of my friends study with her. Um, I was probably like the only one of my little clique at the U.S. Go Congress that studies with Yulin Yang, and all of the rest of my clique, quote unquote, you know, studies with Jenny. So, I don't know. We have a rivalry, I guess. <laughs> Not a real rivalry. Um, but the nice thing is, I'm a little bit better than almost all of her students. So it's a, so it's sort of like an Iron Man kind of, just a tiny, just a tad bit stronger, I think, than most of her students. So it's a little bit of an Iron Man kind of rivalry, but still. I'm, I'm, I am not in my top Go playing form right now. I've been playing way too many other games. But uh, I want to show you this game because Jenny actually reviewed it. Whoa. I know. <laughs> and the two-down professional to review a beer game is good. Although Jenny really likes wine, so she completely understands. We've played Go with her with, um, with wine before. But anyway, so Kevin uh, is black in this game, and I am white. I am drinking a porter. Kevin is drinking a red. <laughs> oh, I have to play a white move. Right. White gets a move. I think this is, oh, I did these out of order already. See, already it's the beer game. <laughs> so far, no problem. Kevin plays here. I approach. Yu and Yang would say this is the best move here. If anyone asks. Jenny, no comment. <laughs> The thing is, she also, um, she actually teaches Kevin in Chinese. And so Kevin recorded the comments in English, but it's kind of weird English. And so there's a lot of movies that just don't have comments or don't, I don't understand. So we'll, par interpretation will be part of this. And Black pulls back, you guys know this, Joseki? Yes, where do you think White played next? Either one of the Seems like all the rage these days. That's one of those one? Yeah, I played over here. <laughs> this is possible. This is actually an okay. This is okay. White basically treats this as a reduction. White's not interested in establishing a people. Um, here's the first comment from Jenny to Don. Because I'll, tr I'll show you Kevin's move first. Kevin played here. Jenny says that sucks. That it's, it's low, it's not severe enough, it doesn't, it doesn't really punish me for tanuking, it actually rewards it in the sense that, hey, I've already reduced this area. Hey, Black's like, hey, I want to make territory here. But it's already reduced, so no good. Jenny says, very least, you have to play here. At least play high so you can at least threaten to take something grander. But really, this is more normal. Right. So am I crazy? I thought you didn't like Sanjay. I don't. I told you I was drinking the porter at this point. Did you say porter or porter? Porter, porter, porter. Uh, black comes here. This probably slack. Nope, nope, other stone. Black. Yeah, where did white play? Yeah, where did white play? Oh, yeah. Do you come here straight from the bar? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Not quite. Never mind. This is this is later. <laughs> Still a bad move later. Black does this first. I have to actually look at my iPad and just try not to remember the game because obviously that's like not going to go well for us. Uh, white pincers. This is all very very normal. 
Let me make sure there's no surprises, which there weren't. So everybody's pretty happy, you know, reasonable. And now black comes here. Okay, we did that correctly. Okay, I'll so now where does white play? And I'll, I'll show you both my move. The move that Jenny came up with, I really, really liked, actually. And this is a move that I would never, ever play, like ever, because I would be too dumb to play it. Show us, well, well, what, well, first let's establish what is white trying to do here? What does white want to accomplish after black plays here? Like, what's important in this game? Well, white's got a moyo. White has a moyo, good. Black is playing very territorial. Very territorial, low, so low, corner. Maybe, maybe, even though it, again, at the top's less interesting because black has this strong low position. Yeah, so maybe, not interesting. Actually, it's time to skip the rest of the phases of the opening and, like, immediately shoulder hit or cap that stone that black just played. Tom's ideas are excellent. It's not what I played, nor was it Jenny's moves, but it's excellent thinking. It's very closely related to what we're trying to do. Uh, I play this move. And I play this move thinking, hey, this is going to help develop the Moyo. It's going to help you know, these two stones out. It might even threaten to do something over here. Um, but the thing is, it's actually not in the right place. Like, even though it's, 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 it has a lot of the right ideas, the placement of this move is actually too wishy-washy. Well, it's just, it's just this, this stone isn't developing this enough. So I need to find a way to develop this side of the board more. Nick, do you want the windows open or closed? Uh, wait, clo open is fine. Yeah, leave okay. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Brian. Uh, the two down professional comes with this move which I think is really, really cool and not a move I would normally ever play just because the shape looks very, this looks like a very strange relationship. And I don't even think it's that strange, actually. I think it's actually quite normal uh, because black still kind of wants to cut here, but white's still kind of okay with it because white can either um, just Atari and make a straight up wall here now, or if, if white decides, hey, this invasion is now worth more than this influence and this might be a later point in the game, we can also go this way too and still um, you know, make a group over here. But right now, if black were to cut, this is almost definitely the more correct thing to do. White gets pretty nice, pretty nice thickness here, right? I can even come back and play another move over here, over here, over here, wherever it is, and keep developing the middle in a really large way. So I like the, I like the move that she came up with quite a bit. But sadly, neither of us played it, or saw it, or even could figure it out. All right, what do you think Black did? That's not there. Top. Top. Top approach, yes, All right, last big side. And especially since white has a stone here now, we really don't want this to swing out this way too. So black plays all the way to reduce. Uh, white plays here. This is locally bad. This is usually a non-Joseki. Um, but I've sort of been experimenting this in, in like very, very casual games. And I don't know, it looked fun. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, and it's sort of like the right direction, right? I mean, the idea is consistent, at least with this stone. This st like, all my stones are at least consistent and sort of working together in the middle. So... Oh, no, don't panic at all. No. Oh, yeah. First, first of all, I can just do this. And if white is, if white tanukis, there's actually, this poke is really severe, right? So it feels like white needs to play another move to fix. And you can have, you have some selections of here to try to how, how you want to fix. Um, but. That, that essentially replicates the bottom corner, so. Sort of. There's st this is still, this is still a defect that can be utilized. So, so 
White takes that on the memory. No, White takes what one? Here? Wait, I'm confused. I, I, in this variation or go back? Go back. Oh, it takes this one? Yeah, I think, I think black can just play here. Yeah. Because this also sets up a, a moyo for you this way, too, right? If white doesn't respond here again. If you're not interested in this at all and you just want to play to reduce, black can even just do this. Possible, too. Depends on what black wants. I think this is better. Yeah, because are you going to respond here again? I mean, I think you have to. I think you have to. I don't know if black gets out in the head on the fourth line. We don't know yet. We don't know. But I think it's playable. Playable, playable, playable. So anyway, I've been experimenting with that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for me, my opponent plays here. And I have no idea what the Joseki is here, because I don't play this normally. <laughs> Dan wants me to play here. I don't like that. That's, that's, that, feels, that feels bad. I played here. And I just decided to, to bulldog my way through this corner. But Jenny's going to show me why this is a completely wrong idea, even though Kevin totally doesn't call me on it. Kevin stands. I play empty triangle. Check that out, suckers. Kevin plays shape move. I play shape move. All right, how does it look? It looks like I wasted a move. This move looks a little dumb. Yeah, this is better there, right? Yeah, black just got a big development over here. So this actually gave a lot to black, even though it doesn't. It looks like black's still kind of cramped, and my white stones are still have more influence than blacks. Uh, these are not to be underestimated. Um, in the game, I'll show you that Kevin played here in the game. It is pretty scary, right? I was the one making the moyo, right? That was my job. That's what I wanted. Remember this stone out here? But he's getting to it. Um, the professional actually doesn't like this move. Professional thought, you know, her, the immediate points she wanted to play were here <laughs> or here. That was immediately invade. That was immediately invade. <laughs> Again, uh, I think for most professionals today, it's more about territory than moyos. <laughs> So, so this, with, I, I, guess, I guess the professional here is saying it's high time to invade now or never. Yeah, like, like look, white has all these stones, yeah. and yet there's more than enough room for black to have mischief. So invade. And we, she looked at a, play, a few variations or, with Kevin. Um, I don't really recall them all or anything, but uh, this one, even this one, I mean, it's not like I can block over here, right? And just lose the corner outright. Um, I think that's probably this, one of the strongest moves. But it still has issues, right? Because we just poke. We have a little bit of threat there. We can threat to come under here. And then we just sort of run out. And there's still Aji here for white to deal with. So. Not entirely clear what white should do when black invades. So she felt this was soft. She just felt this was too soft. Too nice. Too, too nice to your opponent. But it's still easy invasion open later, right? The problem is that this move sort of induces white to try to fix this right now. And now it becomes a lot more difficult to get this group out. But I played here because I don't know this. It looks safe at the time, absolutely. Uh, Black played here. Uh, she didn't comment. I kind of think that this one might be better. Uh, just to make this heavier more quickly. 
but she uh, played there. White, of course, attaches here. Black says, you must die. And white's happy to give up a stone. Even though it is a big corner. Pushes one more time. All right, and this is where I got kind of greedy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you the, the two Don professional move first, this time. <laughs> she said I should play there. <laughs> Which makes sense, right? I mean. I think you knew that you should play there. Hmm? I think you knew that you should play there. At the time. Yay. Maybe. Still one quarter. Hmm? Just one quarter. At this point, yeah. But I was probably getting closer to the end of it. Uh, but no, I was trying to use my stones effectively and efficiently. <laughs> so I was like, hey, there's defects over here too. My group is strong as long as he's weak. I've taught you guys this before, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to obey my own principles. <laughs> so I come over here and peep right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, he can't cut here. I just you tarry that into oblivion, I attack that, no problem. He plays here. And she said something in Chinese here that neither of us understand. I don't think she liked anybody's moves here, I think was what I... It's becoming more clear what? It could. Kevin actually speaks Chinese though, but... Yeah, but he speaks very... which I don't know the distinction. She was using a lot of idioms. Well, actually, so, so not to embarrass Kevin entirely here in this video, uh, <laughs> when the whole internet sees this, I think according to Kevin, Kevin tries to use idioms that are English idioms, but translated directly into Chinese, and ends up making like sexual innuendos in <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> like, and actually during this game, he was telling me this thing about like, uh, you know, he was trying to say something like uh, at the last Go Congress, hey, are you, are you sleeping, you know, uh, at this person's place? And basically just said, you know, you're screwing this dude, yeah. right? You know, so there's, I don't know. It's all, it's all good. It's a, we, have, we have a good time. All right, so after this exchange, though, Black now has the Sente. And white's shape here is very, very suspect. So <laughs> black plays a very slow move, but, but it is a move that both helps black make eye shape and threaten to take it away. So I'm thinking I'm fine. Look at all the space. Look at, I, I gave myself so much space with this move, I can just sort of back off and I'm fine, right? Look at this, I play power move, double Hane. <laughs> it's like, I dare you to take that stone because then I'll get shape and be happy and you won't ever attack me ever again. Uh, Kevin plays here, which I don't think she, Jenny commented on. And I was like, boom, look at my shape. Look how awesome that is. Kevin agreed that it was awesome during the game, but the Tudon laughed at this. <laughs> Tudon Pro says, bam, there, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> uh, which it turns out, if you look at this move, this clamp here, it is really hard for white to deal with, actually. Like really, really hard because nothing is an eye yet. So I should have been punished a lot more. Now Kevin came over here and played this pansy ass move. <laughs> that really does nothing. I mean, he doesn't need that as long as he can cut. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't need this, right? I mean, this is not an important move in this game. Uh, so yeah, she, he got yelled at for that one. A lot. Yes, multiple idioms were used. <laughs> uh, so I came back over here. And I was like, hey, I'm, I got shape, right? I can actually just use that as thickness and continue to build the moyo. <laughs> Which isn't entirely true. <laughs> Anyone picked up on that? Uh, black comes out. White plays here. Black makes a little bit of shape and comes out. 
And then more hot ice. All right, and then there's a bunch of comments here. So you think you're fine uh, even with that potential eye taking away? I, I thought I was kind of fine still, because I was like, well, if he tries to take away, eyes, take away eyes now, I get to Atari and just connect out. And I think, actually, Jenny had a bunch of comments here, which I didn't really understand, but I think she agreed. Um, so Black played here. And I play here. And B played here. So B is officially out and perfectly 100% safe. I am dead, basically. So I played here immediately. And what she responded, and I thought that made me alive, but there's a note in here. Uh, I just asked the question. I'm not sure if that actually is a conclusion or not. But it's pretty severe. Um, yeah, that's still a key point. That's still a rough, rough point for White to deal with. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. Hmm? But then there's this corner business. Black just does this. There's an eye in the corner now. So I still kind of think it's a lie, but something, the comment was something of some sort of question mark for this move. Not entirely sure. Well, that's not the game. What? That's not the game. This isn't the game? No, no, no. Game, black played over here. But there's still some questions here. It just sort of depends on this clampy business. Uh, white connects, black pushes out, white hanes because hey, why not? I mean, millions of points, who doesn't want millions of points? And black Ataris come out. This was kind of dumb. Yeah. But it also actually, this, so the sequence, this whole... Yeah, there, there is a danger here, right? Do you guys see what's happening to this side of the board? Still in trouble here. And these things are not healthy. So not healthy. Um, black jumps here. I don't, my feeling was that was not correct. And there's a note. Hold on. I don't know if there isn't a note. Nope. I think black should still just do that. Because uh, this is still very powerful. And that way, white doesn't get this free defect to use, which I used immediately. Um, black defended. And now I'm sufficiently worried about this group. So how do we save this group? Yeah, Tom says over here. I actually didn't want to attach yet. I wanted to see if I could make any shape over here first and sort of threaten some sort of connection. So I started over here. Um, but Black in the game was very kind to respond here. Too darn professional. Yeah, exactly. So just prevent the, the connection is the bigger uh, threat right now. When he plays this, I get another move. He has to come down here and do this anyway, and I'll get another move, and you know it gives me a whole bunch more moves, basically, that I shouldn't normally get. Uh, then I played here. And this might have been an overplay. Jenny didn't really comment much for white at this point, because again, I'm not her student. Kevin is, so she doesn't care about me trying to live. She wants me dead, in fact. Hmm? Only cares about Kevin killing. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't she so um, Kevin played here, which I think was actually not great. I think this was super duper slow. And uh, at this point, because Kevin played a super duper slow move, I think he's sufficiently drunk enough so I can play really, really terrible moves. 
at this point in the game, which I did. <laughs> this is the move, as soon as I played it, I went, oh, he's not that drunk. <laughs> Damn it. How many raises did he have right now? Maybe one and a half. I mean, wasn't, yeah, not sufficient. Not sufficient for there. So I played this. What is the idea here? I mean, you're trying to keep, right? But that doesn't work. Well, it works if I want these three stones. Yeah. Right? Because it sets up this move, right? Atari. This is not the game, right? And now look at him. He's sober dead. <laughs> totally not going to happen, ever. <laughs> <Just resting. laughs> this move, he's never going to try to save these, right? Not in a million years. The second I play here, he goes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever. So this move. Super dumb. If you take those three black stones, then doesn't this give you a chance to cut off those two in the bottom there? Um, but he, he just, he, ha he still has this connection on the outside. So we can just play another move and he's connected again. Yeah. The only thing those three black stones seem to be worth is six points. So. Yeah, it's, it's, this is bad. Don't do this, kids. Don't, don't do it. Really, really bad peep. Because I'm always starting to capture six stones, so he does not care. So, whoo. At this point, I thought I was going to lose to Kevin, which I had never, ever done before in my entire life. So. Get another port. <laughs> get another beer. Another round over here, right, yes. So I threaten the connection one more time. Kevin says no, that stone is stupid. And I'm just looking for mischief now. Yes, yes. yes. He goes this way. And then he goes over here. I can't really capture these, they're too strong now after this exchange. But I did get a free move out of it, so that was nice. All right, I tried a Tsuji. It's a pretty cool Tsuji, right? If it works. If it works, it's great. Well, I'm trying to, if he goes this way, I can almost make a row of an eye or two in here, right? And if he comes up, he's, he's giving me a lot of forcing moves on the outside to try to swallow it. So basically, I'm, I'm trying to threaten this stone and make shape, or threaten to you know, lean on this stone and make more shape over here. It actually does a lot of nice things. I think this is actually a pretty nice move. I don't know, it's a super flexible, right? If he goes in, I take out. If he goes out, I go in and lean on this. So he plays here, which... He's just, again, trying to stay strong, so not to give me extra forcing moves. Very common when someone plays an aggressive move like this, that's what you try to do. But like I said, again, I'm gonna be happy just getting stones like this here. Uh, he plays here, which again, makes me happy. I'm gonna get another move here. He, for some reason, really doesn't want me to separate. This might have been not necessary. He should have probably played something like this. But he plays there, and after that, it's actually really easy to make two eyes. He pushes up, and I lean. Do you guys see the eyes? Do you guys see the eyes? This is all much entirely too soft. Even there, I guess. Yeah, that was better. Yeah, I mean, there's. There's still more Aji here, too. So after this, I'm alive. And it feels good. It feels good to live where I should have died. I, I gotta admit. Hmm? 
Uh, maybe. Black pushes up. Here, we'll play a little bit more. We'll, we'll play until we get to the higher part. Uh, Black's just taking Sente here. Here, though, I think this is a bad move. Because after he connects, I'm now alive. And uh, I have entirely too many points at this point for Black to do anything about it. So, we don't really have to play the rest of the game. Kevin actually recorded the whole thing. Oh, no, he didn't. He recorded, I guess he recorded until he resigned because he was down by, I think we counted. It was a lot. It was probably 20. But yes, it's sweet clamp at the bottom, but you still have liberty. It's not just three seconds. Yeah, I mean, he can, he, can, he can still make mischief in here, but again, all of this is solid now. So very, very difficult. Um, if you're wondering what Tom is talking about, Tom's saying, oh, he's got the sweet clamp. And this is true, he totally does have the sweet, sweet clamp. Okay, carry on. What do you do next? There's probably a way to reduce the corner using this somehow, but I don't know what you do. Looks very, very hard. But there are there are just normal reductions, but it's still this uh, this all gets goes away to white, right? This all after this clamp, there's black just can't help but let white in the corner. Um, there's you know you're looking at 20 points there, 30, 40. 45, 55, maybe 60 on a good day. And here we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's 40, uh, 55, 65, I mean 70, 75, pretty easily, plus a few more in the corner, probably lower 75. So. It's a lot. So what do we learn? Don't, don't go over half a quarter. More or less yeah. quarter, one of the two. Hmm? More or less quarter, one of the two. More or less quarter. Yeah. Well, well, George, George, I have beef with you. Because I've told the rest of this class before, right? Do you remember the last Go Congress? Yes. Do you, remember, do you remember the day before my championship game? I told you guys a story. This is the George. Who, so we go to the bar. We're having a good time. This is the day before my championship game, right? I'm 5-0 and going to the final day. And people are starting to leave, right? We've drank how many pitchers of beer at that point? You have any idea? It was a lot. Yeah. But it was reasonable. Enough. <laughs> it was all walking distance for everybody. It was reasonable. George comes and says, oh, all right, I, got, I guess I got to get going. He goes to the bartender. He orders two more pitchers of beer, and he leaves. <laughs> And at that point, I think it was just me and three other guys. And you were obligated. Well, George bought them for us. So this is the George that, and then, and then I go to the next, ge next game, and of course I lose, because it's 9 a.m. in the morning for some reason. Well, that usually follows. Hmm? 9 a.m. in the morning is pretty typical when it comes around. It is, it turns out, yeah. 9 a.m. is when those games happen. At least it wasn't scotch. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't scotch. Sure, true that. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't straight ethanol. Yeah. So there you go. So there's our beer stories for the day, beer and ghost stories, I think. But yeah, that was a game. Not not the most exciting lesson, but I thought I would share nonetheless. Yeah, don't 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 play these Trosecki. Don't, don't play this move. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, and maybe, you know, actually there were a lot of lessons in this game, right? Because we saw, we saw this really cool move, right? We saw that cool move. That's a cool move. That's, where, that's, not, that's where Jenny Shen wanted me to play. Uh, I played out here. Well, if you wanted to do that, 
<laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I, I think it's good faith that she, she thinks that's a good move too. Uh, probably suggested that while saying, dudes Kevin, you're lucky you didn't invite her. Basically, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's usually how lessons work. Um, if your opponent's group looks suspicious, you have to ask questions, right? You can't let them get away with everything. You have to, you have to ask the question. Um, you have to punish, otherwise you'll just get pushed around, like Kevin, and let me live here, and live here. I should have died in like both places. Um, so you really... That particular move there, the Yeah, the clamp. Um, but in this case, couldn't the white just come straight up and rub the Like here? There's many problems, actually. There's this move, there's this move, there's even this move. They all look good, actually. I don't think, I think you can almost play any one of them. Um, even this one, right? Let's make one big eye. It's all, it's all hard for white to deal with. Just add a stone there, right? Just pick a place. Uh, and it's very weak. Um, one thing I do want to note on this, on this variation, you guys see when white, when black pushed up and cut, how white was actually able to get a lot of strength here by giving up this stone. Often when people cut this way, a lot of players want to save this stone, but then that just kills off these two. So just give it up. That's a good lesson. And then you can go do something over here. Uh, I should have made shape. Shape is really important. Turns out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There, there is lots of little good stuff in here, I think. Okay. All right. Happy going. <laughs>